and Gina here from OrchidandOpal.com and welcome back. I have the Darling Beadbox subscription for March 2022 to open up with you all today. This is a European-based beading subscription run by a female small business owner and fellow bead lover. And what's nice about this one is they do ship internationally. So no matter where you're located, you can have the opportunity to get your hands on this monthly package. Every month they put together a selection of all sorts of check glass, glass, gemstone beads, metallic components, and findings in a color-coordinated and fun theme. I do believe I have a coupon code for this subscription, so I will try to flash that on the screen as well as leave it right down below the video. And I'll leave the link for the subscription too so you can get right to it and check out all the details for yourself about this one. So I'm really excited to see what's inside. I'm gonna open it up. All right, so this kind of indicates a little bit about what our theme is going to be, maybe something India related. And we have some olive green tissue wrapped contents in there. And as you can see, the theme for the month is called Elephant Trail. So definitely seems to be sort of an India-inspired palette that we might be taking a look at. We've got 21 total items that we're going to go through. The first 14 of which looks like our bead selection, and then 15 through 21 are more of our metallic components. On the back of the sheet, it also tells you a little bit more about the contents and a little bit more about the particular stones. Let's get a sneak peek at what we're about to see today. And here we go, all wrapped up in our organza bag. And I'm going to get organized, then we'll take a look at everything close up one at a time. Starting out with selection number one, this bag contains the six by four and a half millimeter faceted matte glass rondelles in light goldenrod. So we have this light shimmery sort of golden beige combination with the matte frosty finish that also have a slightly metallic quality. And then in bag number two, we have the four millimeter faceted round imitation jade beads. These are in half bronze plated light green AB. So overall giving us a sort of olive green colored look, especially with that partial bronze coating that pops up on parts of these beads. And we get a lot of reflective shimmer with that AB coating. Next up in bag three, we have the six millimeter natural green aventurine. Really gorgeous and glossy, deep green gemstone beads with just a slight variation of shades going on throughout. Very consistent in their size and beautifully polished. Next in bag four, we have 30 pieces of the six millimeter check glass forget me nots in luster dark olive green. Here you can see that cute little dainty pressed flower shape in that very deep olive green color with a slightly golden metallic cast over the top. Bag number five contains some six millimeter glass rounds in caramel yellow. A lighter and brighter pop of these round and glossy glass beads with different shades of yellow from very, very pale to concentrations of deeper color that sort of give us a watercolor effect. In bag number six, we have some eight millimeter lime green round glass beads. These are a vibrant green apple sort of a color. Their color is consistent and so is their size and they are also very smooth and polished. In bag number seven, we have five pieces of 12 by 14 millimeter cinnabar elephant beads in fire brick red. 
aren't these great and perfect for the theme that we have going on and bring us a very vibrant pop of red. Lots of detail with these elephant shaped beads. They're very three dimensional and the same on both sides it looks like. Some really interesting information about cinnabar came on the other side of the materials list. It says that genuine cinnabar is the chief ore mineral of mercury. And then it goes on to give some other information about the history. And of course, we know mercury is toxic. It shouldn't be worn next to the skin. So it says the cinnabar used in jewelry is actually wood that is stained and covered by layers of lacquer. While the final layer is still soft, it's being pressed with an image or hand carved. These cinnabar beads, of course, are safe. All right, number eight contains a strand of eight by five millimeter opaque glass rondelles in dark green. So we have another shade of green going on, a lot of green in this selection. These are that more compressed rounded shape and the color is opaque. They also have a smooth and glossy feel. In bag number nine, we have some four millimeter faceted black glass bicones. So here we go with these sort of shimmery black bicone beads, giving us another size and shape to work with to put together with our other selections and also giving us another neutral. And some more neutral tones in bag number 10 with this strand of six by four millimeter natural picture Jasper rondelles. So we have another selection of gemstone beads. I love picture Jasper with all its interesting formations and striations that show up in the beads. You can see that there's a combination of different shades of brown and cream and tan and also a little bit of black. In bag number 11, we have a gorgeous spokel. It's a 40 by 30 millimeter natural green aventurine cabochon. And here is a close-up look. You can see there's no hole in this, but it'd be perfect to beat around. Or if you are interested in wire wrapping, it would be a great candidate for that too. It's got the domed top and then a flat base. And you can tell that this is genuine green aventurine. And then in bag 12, we have the 6 by 8 millimeter oval imitation jade beads in the color called Blanched Almond. So we have this very light beige opaque glass in yet another shape and I like how the shapes and colors and sizes are varied because with these types of themed boxes it makes it easier to put things together if you want to just from the contents of that particular month. Up next is bag number 13. It contains the 10 millimeter natural green aventurine stone round beads. Another selection of the green aventurine. These have a little bit more variation in the colors that are showing up in these natural stones. These are the largest beads in the selection that we have this month. And of course would go beautifully with that focal cabochon. Our last packet of beads is 14 and this one contains the four millimeter smooth round red glass beads. So we have a generous strand of these and another pop of that bright red that matches those cinnabar elephants. These are more of a transparent glass so you can see that they let some of the light through. So now that we've taken a look at the beads, let's go through our metallic components because we have some really interesting things to go through. 15 contains some clasps. It says there's all different types in here. And as you can see, we have two very large toggle clasps in the antique bronze variety. Those have sort of a hammered look. Then we have a fish and cat toggle clasp and a little charm and also a very small magnetic round clasp. So lots of different options there. And then next in bag number 16, we have 30 pieces of 7x7 seven seven antique bronze Tibetan style bead caps.
And here's a close-up look. You can see the sort of flower-like shape that they have and the circular ring design across the top. Then in 17, we have a focal. This is a 48 by 43 millimeter hexagon antique bronze chandelier pendant. That is lovely and very detailed. And it's got lots of places at the bottom that you can use to bead onto, whether you wanna do strands of beaded string or chain or beaded wire onto something like this. And then there is a look at the back. Looks like we have another focal in bag number 18, which contains a 62 by 23 millimeter Tibetan style antique bronze leaf pendant. And it looks like it also contains a round bird on a branch chandelier component. So this is actually a two in one. There's two different things going on here. I could see that bird component being really pretty if you use polymer clay, somehow combining the two together and using that over top, or also if you like to work with resin. And then we have this gorgeous long leaf pendant with lots of detail. And there is a look at the back of these two. Bag number 19 contains a meter of antique bronze Figaro chain. So a lot of chain to work with. You could use this across multiple projects and you see the varied links that you expect in Figaro chain, some with the larger and wider ovals and then the smaller links in between. In bag number 20, we have 20 grams of elephant charms in the antique bronze. This is so cool. Look how many you get. And I love the fact that you get so many different ones. Really on point with this theme, which I think is very unique and creative. You get some larger components that you could even use as a little pendant down to some very small and dainty, yet still very detailed elephant shapes. And our final bag, number 21, contains 30 pieces of 8 by 3 millimeter antique bronze Tibetan style spacers. Here are these disc-like spacer beads. They have a larger hole, so you could even use these on some chain or cord if it's of a thinner nature. And the metal has sort of a hammered looking detail all around. So that wraps up for the March 2022 Darling Beads monthly subscription. I think they did a great job. As usual, I love seeing their very unique and beautiful take on these monthly themes. It's truly fun to open these up and see what's inside. And I love the mix of different types, shapes, colors of the glass and gemstone beads inside, as well as the different types of metal components. I think it's great that they include several focals typically, and I feel inspired by the contents as I see them all laid out to dive in and create something directly from what's included, which is a great feeling to have when you get one of these monthly packages. Once again, I'll leave a coupon code down below if I have one available, as well as the link to the subscription if you'd like to check it out and find out all the details about it. You can see some of my past Darling Beads subscription box unboxings if you check out the playlist that I have set up specifically for them. That'll give you an idea of some of their past themes and color palettes. Everyone is going to be different and next month's will be different as well. I want to give you a huge thank you for joining me. I'm always glad to have you here. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and also share the video with your other bead-loving friends. And I love hearing from you, so feel free to leave a comment below as well about anything you see here or anything else you'd like to say. I'll be back again real soon, and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. Happy beading.